Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I've got a wonderful piece of cardboard that got damp last night, so it's already peeling. Like, you know, sometimes we have to do that on purpose. And I will be using that to make a junky journal. Uh, I showed you last time where I put two sheets in my Etsy shop of artwork from the art journals. I added a third sheet yesterday and I'm so proud of myself for getting these in the shop. I really am. It feels like an accomplishment. And I love that I've been able to take several journals and mark them complete. Working on making a little envelope for a card. Alejandrina, you sent me this wonderful uh, We Are Memory Keepers envelope board, or I'm not even sure I'm calling it the right thing. But I love this. It's been a while since I've used it. And then let's round these. It's really a genius design, if you think about it. I just wanted to make a little square envelope. And there wasn't really the measurement for this one on there, but if you cut a four by four inch piece of paper and then just punch and score at the two inch line right in the center. And then this is my tiny little private entry inside here. It's a piece of paper from my art desk. So it's got all these splotches and stains. And I wrote a couple of things in here that I want to keep up with, but it is a bit private. So I wanted a tiny envelope to put this in so that I can just glue it into my journal that I'm working in. And we will also talk about where things are currently in the journal. I love my new journal. I've been using it. Let's see, I'm gonna need a tiny bit more around here. So this is so adorable and I love this paper. It's been stained, it's textured. It's almost like it has bits of, of coffee or something on it, but I don't think it's coffee. I wonder if it's pieces of ink or maybe it was already a textured paper. I don't remember where I got this. I don't remember if one of you sent this to me or if I bought this and some paper at the scrap exchange. I think it came from the scrap exchange. So why don't I go ahead and glue this down yeah, I kind of just want it right there at the bottom. Hate to cover up that beautiful paper, but we're going to be seeing what's on the front. So we're not, we're not losing the magic of the paper. Plus, we can see the inside this way. And maybe I will think of a way that I want to close that. We'll come up with something creative, a way to keep it closed. I do have an idea already, but we shall see. And this little note can slide right down in there. Do love that. Hopefully I'm not getting any glue on it so that it's going to be hard to pull out. Let's look at what we've already done here. I did add the uh, velvet ribbon back on as a closure. You know, I had forgotten to do that when I very first created the journal. I got ahead of myself and put the signatures in and then realized I hadn't sewn in the uh, ribbon. However, it was easy to add it. I just took a safety pin and pinned to the ribbon on this end and ran it under the signatures. And so that's, that's that. And maybe I will, I do want these. I'm trying to keep a record of the things that I create and put in the shop as far as my original art. So let's put a note on this. Sorry, I don't want to bore you by adding stuff that I don't really need to be doing on camera. I'm writing fast and sloppy. Wow, I can't believe it's the 27th. And I really hope that we can have an actual autumn or fall because we, it's been so hot here, you can't really enjoy anything. I'm going to fold these the other way just because I want to see the pretty colors in there. You can't enjoy anything. Uh, in fact, so oh, let me show you one more thing. So to the outside, I just tied my blue button 
uh, to the top here. And I chose a pack for myself at random. They don't all have the blue buttons, but they all had, I think, was it four buttons? And I added the remainders here and then pulled from my stash to go ahead and tie a button, a shank style button onto each cord out here. And they're kind of loosely tied. I could probably take those off if I wanted to. I love that one. Uh, but you don't have to do that. I just kind of wanted to see that button there. I think it ties in really pretty with this. And then getting inside, so there's the page that I printed on the vellum to start with. This was actually a calendar page with the uh, barn and the quilt on the side. I decided I just wanted to see the windows. So I took a piece of paper and glued down over the top after just kind of guesstimating, tracing around the windows, and I cut that out. You can see it wasn't anything fancy, although I probably could have used a uh, cutting tool that I got recently from Grabby, and I'll talk more about that. Anyway, I wrote about going uh, with Jason to downtown Hillsboro, uh, and then I sketched this sitting on the couch. It's, it's just so relaxing to me to sit at night and glue and journal and just let my mind kind of go blank. Uh, I have felt a lot of stress. It's even though it's a positive stress, like from leaving the scrap exchange, uh, that was a huge, huge part of my life. I was there 40 hours a week. I have things in the artist marketplace there. I had taught classes there. Uh, I shop there on a regular basis, so it felt like a part of my actual personal life in a way that sometimes jobs do not. I know I made the right decision by leaving, but I have felt a huge amount of like transitional stress, and it feels so good at night to sit down on the couch and just journal and do art things kind of mindlessly. I did glue down four pieces of paper, four or five, I don't remember, because on this side of the page, of course, was a just a calendar page with the, uh, the squares. And I put some images that I really like. One of the vintage images, the ladies in the swimsuit. And we have the old typewriter here. Uh, there's actually part of the calendar, I think, that I left exposed. And then a piece of watercolor paper, a little square. I had taken some block printing ink and just dragged some pine needles through it and then tried to paint with it to see what it ended up looking like. I'm not crazy about it. I think I could have done a better job or chosen a different kind of paper that would have allowed it to flow more. Uh, and then here's a note. So Jason played a gig outside last night. The heat was so intense. Sweltering! Exclamation point. We both felt sick after being out in it for three hours. And this, again, this is a piece of paper from Grabby. These are some stickers from Grabby. I'll have some information in the video description. And then following soon, I will have a video about an unboxing uh, from a gift that Grabby kindly sent to me to let me try out their products. And then this is a piece of fabric, a tiny piece from a larger piece that's going to be in the current fun packs. And I've said several times I want Monday to be my inventory day, and I do. I'm trying to get to that point. I already have some things in the shop uh, in a draft status, and I will release those in the morning. And hopefully... I can get the fun packs in there. It's just so much easier to keep up with those in Etsy. Although, again, I don't like how hard it is to get your money. Hard is not the right word. I don't like the time that it takes to get that money. That that should be mine because I've worked for it and I need it. Okay, so I digress. Anyway, this is this is where I am in this journal. And like I was saying with the last video about these fun packs, if you don't like what's on the page, and I really do like this scene right here. I like the water. I like the table, the plants. Even though this is from a this is a, a magazine for people to order garden supplies, maybe like interior designers or whatever. I may cover up just this part, you know, put a pretty piece of fabric here that's going to fold nicely and make that thicker out here. We could glue it down and then we're going to end up with a pocket here. And I probably first will cover this with something pretty. So that's how we end up with these beautiful, full, chunky journals with all sorts of textures and shapes and... Um, it, it's just a representation of your life when you're done. So I'm going to stop the video for now. Uh, I just wanted to check in. I don't think there's anything else I want to show you right at this minute. 
I'm looking around on the desk. It seems like there might have been something else, but we'll I'll be back soon and we'll get to it if I left something out. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye for now.